Hey guys, Gavin here from G-Sport Cars and I just wanted to do a very quick video today uh, nothing major, no dyno runs or anything like that but I do have some dyno graphs on the, on the screen here I wanted to show you and the reason I wanted to show you this was pretty much just to show you uh, what can happen when you have a, a restrictive bottleneck in your, in your engine system somewhere in your airflow system um, so today we had in uh, David's EP3 Civic Type R, David's car is running uh, Honda K Pro, he has an RBC inlet, I think Buddy Club P1 uh, manifold, sorry, exhaust manifold, uh, custom 2.5 inch uh, system all the way back. And David had previously brought the car in for a dyno run, he bought the car in England and uh, it had been, all the work had been done by TDI North over in England and he brought the car in just to sort of verify horsepower figures and that sort of thing and make sure everything was running okay so we found out that the car was a little down on par but when we looked closer in and David had the, the suspicion as well that somebody had changed his air intake uh, before he had bought the car so he thinks there might have been a, a different air intake on the car uh, previous to that and it was then changed for a cheaper al alternative and that was what was causing the, the lack in power, uh, which when I seen it myself was um, did seem to be the case because it was uh, some cheap generic sort of eBay intake and a very small restrictive opening just before the throttle body and this, this type of thing. So that was pretty much uh, deemed that, that that was going to be the, the problem. So David since then went away, he got himself the Tegua uh, carbon airbox which everybody will know we've always had great results with in here and so he's fitted the, the box himself and he brought it back in and he wanted to get the the map uh, retuned and set up and make sure it was all running uh, properly with good fueling and so on so we put the car on the dyno uh, turns out the 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 map was locked by TDI North so it would have meant a full retune then so I gave David the option and we decided that we would test the car in its current form, see what it was doing. So we run the car in the dyno with the wideband on and the car got a considerable gain over its previous run. So I'll show you here the two runs on the screen. So we have, these are the two runs now. The, uh, the lower horsepower run is the previous run that was taken before. The last time David was in and that is this run here so it made 227 horsepower at about 7940 rpm and the highest run with no change to the map just literally the air intake uh, changed is this one up here so 243.5 peak it made at about 7910 rpm and you can see from here I mean, with the horsepower and the torque, obviously, there's a considerable gain right across the RPM range, and especially up, you get a, a good gain up at the, the peak RPM, um, which would give you more of an indication that it was definitely an airflow restriction problem. So uh, David's happy enough. He, he ended up, um, you know, got away without the need for a full remap. We also checked the fueling. The fueling was fine. Maybe a slight little bit lean, but not to the extent that you would need to really do anything about it. So... Uh, David's happy enough on this occasion and it just goes to show you uh, what can happen and um, you know with uh, just with a small restriction on the inlet when everything else uh, was was operated and I kept up the spec so um, hopefully that's just been a, a little bit informative for you and keep an eye out I'll be doing some more video blogs shortly thanks bye